These games are freaking awesome, dude. Crazy. Wow. What's up, guys? Welcome back to Roblox Zeus. In today's video, we'll be going over five of the best Roblox hobby games. Make sure to watch until the end to find out. As usual, do subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Give us a like if you enjoyed the video, and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. And with that said, let's get into the video. We can get pretty far, because I think once we reach the end of, like, this little give myself a timer, which, um, this little ear is really, like, a tight Number 5, Obby King. The game is quite underrated with only a few hundred people playing it currently and only has a 60% upgrade in the game. It's pretty much as it sounds. You compete against other players to prove that you are in fact the Obby King. There are over 70 maps, countless different levels, kind of ranging in difficulty, and overall, it's seemingly a good game. I would say this game is a mix between relaxing and inducing rage because while overall it seems pretty calming, as soon as you fail you're brought back to the beginning, which can get more and more aggravating so I guess it depends on the person playing it. Upon entry you step into a circle with other people to set up the game, this is understandable, and it makes sense that you have to match people up for a round but then instead of taking you right to the game it takes you to yet another lobby where you have to wait even longer. This can be very frustrating but it's just a small con in my comparison to all the pros. GG pro. I did not beat that at a time of 1 minute 19 You don't know how to do in and outs though. They're on mobile, I can tell. You can't get those weird angles on PC. Ooh, that was cold. Number 4, Speedrun 4. If you've never played it before, Speedrun is an obstacle game of course but with the addition of speed hence the name. There are many different levels, each with different themes and music, and the overall goal is to complete each level as fast as you can. You can race against your friends or play by yourself, and I personally find this game incredibly relaxing, but I know it can get quite ragey, especially when you can't finish a level. One of those levels that many enjoyed 100% is the ice cream level for some reason. Players just have the hardest time completing it. The main thing I personally wish for the speedrun is that there was more of it. We've been on speedrun 4 for quite some time with minimal updates and I'm absolutely craving more levels for the game. That's why I decided to put it at number 4 on this list. But with all that being said, it's still an extremely fun game and definitely worth checking out if you've never played it before. BBS. No! <laughs> yeah, we got no. Have we done it? <laughs> <laughs> There's an inside amount. Number three, Mega Easy Obby. If you're someone who hates rage inducing obbies and you really just want something super simple and easy to play while you watch a movie or a show or YouTube videos, you know I see you. Then this is the obby for you. It's super colorful and aesthetically pleasing. There are over 650 stages in total, so you know you'll be playing it for quite some time. And if none of that convinces you, maybe the fact that tens of thousands of people are playing it right now, and it has 78 thumbs up rating, which if you know Roblox, that's an absolute miracle. So I guess I've said quite a bit of good now, but what's the bad you may be asking? Well, the only critique I personally have is how busy the screen is in game. Roblox games lose a lot of professionality to me when they have a ton of buttons on screen that just scream at click me and this by no means is one of the worst games for this but there are still 1 to 14 buttons on screen that just seems a bit much to me personally. Not touch that red thing because it may kill us I don't know. Oh what? I that we'd spawn somewhere else but it looks like we might go up. Actually I don't think we spawn anywhere else. Can Number 2, IQ Obby. At first glance, you will be deterred from playing this hobby because of its low rating and number of players, but I promise you guys, it's so much better than people have made it out to be. If you want an obby that will actually challenge your brain, then this is 100% for you. The developers have put a new spin on obbies and have made one more into a puzzle where each level is far from what it seems, and what I like even more is that in obby games, you'll have the option to skip levels if you pay in Robux, which is also an option with this game. However, the more levels that you complete, the more IQ points that you earn and you can use those IQ points to skip the levels that you can't trade for life. If you're younger, this may not be the game for you and maybe that's my one critique for this game is that it's not entirely good for every Roblox player out there but even specifically if in the description they say it's recommended for older players so you can't hit on them too much for that unless you're one of the 20,000 people who disliked likely because you couldn't figure out one of the levels. Oh wait 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 wait. You, you can't beat that. me. You watch. She knows what she's doing. Oh, she, All she, right, so the again. gaps, the gaps. Whoa. Number one, Tower of Hell. Tower of Hell is exactly how its name makes it out to be, a Tower of Hell. It's an obby of course, but instead of it just being straight across like most hobbies, it actually goes up in a giant tower and it has multiple levels distinguished by different colors. There's a time limit and your main goal is to get either as far as you can or complete the entire tower, which many players really struggle to do. It's a super fun game, but it's also really hard sometimes and will definitely make you rage at one point or another. There aren't many critiques I have for this game as it's pretty much how it's intended to be, very competitive and difficult, but if I could add anything, it would 100% be checkpoints. It would at least relieve players of some of the distress while trying to complete the level so that would increase players' enjoyment of the levels. 
Tomorrow feels a year away Wanna bring it home to me again The world is waiting up And those were five of the best Roblox Obby games bringing us to the end of the video. Do make sure to subscribe to the channel and of course, like the video if you haven't already, since that really helps us out a lot. Make sure to have post notifications turned on so you don't miss out on any of our videos. With that said, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.